In this video we're going to be looking at carbolic acids which are an important part of the organic chemistry. So this is the functional group that you will need um, to be able to recognise for the carbolic acids. We have a uh, carbon here, a double bond to an oxygen and then a single bond to an OH group. So this is our organic chemistry group sheet. It has our prefixes and our suffixes that we need to know for this video on it. Um, so just quickly remind you, the prefixes, if something has one carbon, it's going to start with meth. If something has three carbons, it'll start with probe. If something has six carbons, it's going to start with hex. And um, in this video, we're only looking at carboxylic acids, so all of our suffixes are going to be anoic acid. So there are three um, uh, carboxylic acids that you need to know for your GCSE. This is the first one and because it has one carbon on it, it is methanoic acid. And the way this is written is as it's drawn, so the CH group here corresponds to the CH group here and then the OOH is the OOH here. This is um, a, a set of molymods representing um, methanoic acid. We have oxygen in red, hydrogen in white and carbon in black. And we can see our double bond to the oxygen here and our single bond to the OH group. This is the next one that we need to know about. This has one, two carbon, so this is F. Acid and the formula is written as it's drawn. So we have a CH3 group which corresponds to CH3 group here, and a COOH group which corresponds to this group here. Sometimes in classes I call this a Q group. This is the um, representation using molymods. We have two carbons in black, the hydrogens in white, we have a double bond to our oxygen and then a single bond to our oxygen um, and hydrogen group on the end. This is quite a nice way of representing things, especially, especially if you want to go and do any of them. This is the third um, ethanol, um, carboxylic acid that we need to know. It has one, one, two, three carbons in it. This is propanoic acid. And yet again, the formula tells us how to draw things. So we have a CH3 group here, which corresponds to this CH3 group. We have a CH2 group, which corresponds to the CH2 group. And we have a Q group, which corresponds to this here. And this is the um, representation using molymods. We have three carbons in black, the hydrogens in white. Again, we have a double bond to an oxygen and a single bond to an oxygen hydrogen group. So you need to know some properties of carboxylic acids and one of the things that you need to know is that they are weak acids. What this means is that when it is dissolved in water, the um, hydrogen goes off to be a hydrogen ion and then we have a, a dissociate, a delocalization around the rest of it. Um, and because we are losing a hydrogen ion, it means it becomes an acid. So you need to know the difference between a weak acid and a strong acid. A weak acid is only going to be partially ionised. So for example, water, um, we might have like a million atoms which are water, but one in a million atoms is going to dissociate into um, hydrogen ions which are acidic and hydroxide ions which are alkali. So this is going to be a very, very weak acid. Um, it, it's going to be more towards the um, neutral side of the scale. Strong acids, such as sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid, fully ionise. So we can write the equations. Instead of with the um, reversible reaction here, we can write the equation as a full reaction because they're, they're so fully ionised that we can just say that when we dissolve them in water, we get two completely separate ions. 
So the uses um, for carboxylic acids, um, ethanoic acid is vinegar, citric acid is found in uh, lemons and oranges and is made in high quantities for use in fizzy drinks. We can use it in soap, we can use it in detergents or we can use it to make esters. That's what my next video will be on. So um, one, of, one of the more tricky questions they may ask you, it probably won't be worded like this, but it will be the same basic chemistry. Um, if you leave a bottle of wine in the fridge um, for a bit too long, it will start to taste, taste like vinegar. It really won't be nice. I do not recommend it in any way at all. This is because ethanol can be oxidised to produce ethanoic acid. Um, some of the chemistry that I'm about to go through here is a touch beyond a GCSE, but only ever so slightly. So if you're interested in those top grades or you're interested in A-level, you really need to try and follow this. So, um, ethanol is a primary alcohol. It's oxidised to an aldehyde, which then gets further oxidised to a carboxylic acid. What happens is we have um, our ethanol over here, and it loses two of the hydrogens to become um, ethanol, which then gains uh, an oxygen to become ethanoic acid. Exactly the same is going on here. So I've made the representation of ethanol, um, and uh, those of you that are paying attention will notice I have slightly, slightly different bonds in my monomods here, because I need to use bendy bonds um, to make my double bond. So I've made turn my ethanol into ethanol, um, so we've lost two hydrogens there, and then going to add in an oxygen. It's going to be further oxidised, and it's going to turn into ethanoic acid with the traditional formula that you'll recognise from the beginning of this, where we have um, oxygen double bonded to a carbon, and then oxygen a single bond and an OH group. 